Hi, YouTube. Hope you're fine. I had a pretty good day here in Pine City. Um, thank you, Sean, for subscribing and my other new subs. Um, thank you for the people that helped us uh, gather together. Hopefully it's um, all with the name of God and believing in Jesus Christ. That's what I'm all about. So, which reminds me. Um, I had some troll comments to take care of this morning and people to block, and I'm sure some of them will be back. But um, one of them, well, I got about called about every name in the book. One guy, said, or I, I don't know, maybe not a guy, um, person said, shut up, lady. And I'm thinking, I told Doug, I said, well, at least it called me lady. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. A polite disrespect that's new um and then I had somebody say that I was on the fence I'm about the least on the fence all my life than anybody I've ever met you know so um I don't know how that person you know no face and no name them type um no offense if you got a good heart but I'm just saying you know it's easy to say something when you know i'm exposing myself and everything within myself and somebody's going to tell me i'm a troll when i daily profess god i daily say i love god and jesus christ not a day goes by not one day how could i possibly appear to be on the fence <laughs> you know <laughs> i might be climbing up there to help somebody over but at this point, pretty much if I were on there, I'd probably be there kicking you back on the other side if you're a jerk. So that's where I stand about now. So um, I know evil wants me to stop. I know um, it wants me to stop talking about Jesus Christ and stop supporting people that love God. And, um, you know, I'm not going to stop. Nope, not here. I'll be here every day to say I love you, I'm here for you, and we're strong, and not necessarily together. Sure we are, we're stronger together, but we're also strong all by ourselves. That's what makes us, you know. So um, I've made a couple videos about people that have talked smack about me, but aside from that, I don't start wars or fights with anybody, but I certainly will end them. You know, so which reminds me of another thing. A Mackenzie Devil that I blocked has a video, a part of a video of me, part of 007, part of Robin, Adventures of the Criminals, um, and used clips from all our videos without permission, I'm sure. So I'll be working on that too. So if anybody knows how I can, uh, I looked up how to, um, you know, register a copyright complaint, but I'll be going more into that. I mean, if you don't have my permission, you do not have my permission. Personally, that's just me. So, yeah. Hmm. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah. Um, shout out, Robin, that band you like, Band of Horses. I love the lyrics and the beat. It's um, uplifting. Really, really good songs from the clips that you showed. I think last year when I checked out your playlist, um, I must not have been in the mood. Um, I, was, I wasn't depressed. I was thoroughly down in the dumps because evil was trying to keep um, God's children from getting to know each other. So... Um, he told me, just wait, just take your time, kick back for a while, and then come back. And he said, don't say nothing, lay low. <laughs> so I did. And things will be better when you come back. And it was. <laughs> so, I mean, I kept making videos, but um, I knew probably people that needed to hear strength in that area wouldn't probably be listening. Well, some do, and some, um, you know, have been with me for a long time now, like Letty, for instance. Peace, little sister. <laughs> oh, 
or more like baby girl. <laughs> you are adorable to me. You know that. Um. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Andrea knows we'll be back. I blocked her. But, you know, it's like, now that's riding a fence. You know. Yeah. That type. So, if you hear these words and you don't agree, that's that's your opinion. This is my channel. This is my opinion. So, that's all I have to say. Anybody wants to come against me? Well, go right ahead. I'll probably block you. I don't need subs. I want friends. So... And the right kind of friends. I'm very choosy. So. It's pretty important who you associate with in your life. Because um, you are of that. It's just like me giving a letter of divorcement. I did that because I am not of that. If a man is going to lead a family wrong. He's not deserving of that family. So, and that's the way that is. That is the way that is. So, and if a man out there is um, teaching something that goes against the grain of God, or if his language or abusive tones or anything about it is off, he is actually taking you in an area that you don't need to hear. You need to turn it off. If there's something like really, I mean, continual badger type feeling, that's narcissism. And why? Why would a person be out there talking about everything else except for God? Everybody else except for Jesus Christ. That's what I want to know. You know, boasting about their selves, yucking it up together like um, a Sodom and Gomorrah type situation is what I see. And yet the people that I choose to associate with want good, clean lives without slutty activity in it. So um, that's the difference right there. Those are the difference of personalities on this planet. Hopefully I can gather more like-minded people and be here for you every day telling you that you aren't alone. And I am smart enough to understand the difference between good and evil no matter what. There's no fool in me. But really, on back on that, um, on the fence thing, I've loved God all my life. Even when I was being a naughty kid or a naughty teenager, I knew I was doing wrong. I didn't make excuses for myself. I had to ask forgiveness, cause, um, and that's no joke. I always knew. And for people that are new, I was adopted by the Masons and trained by them undercover to take down darkness. So um, I, I had full knowledge from day one who my Heavenly Father was because I didn't really have one. So. That made me really close with God because I only could depend on him. Jesus and the Father, that was it. So when I called on God, he helped me too. He does. He helps us. If you want things to work out good in your life, ask him for help. That's all I do, you know. Kind of it's automatic now. I get up, I'm looking at the sunrise, and I'm thinking, you know, well, here goes another day. Um, I wonder who's going to be naughty or nice, <laughs> you know, that type of thing. And um, It's pretty interesting. It's sad. It is saddening. 
but I don't let it overwhelm me. Um, the term thick skin, eh, yeah, I'm tough. For God, with God, I should say. Without God in my heart, I wouldn't be as strong. So, I think that's why I was so lonely the whole time, so I won't would only have him to communicate with. So when something else tried to get in there, I automatically know better. So when you're raised around um, harshness and evil and something good comes into your life, you recognize it automatically. So. There are some kind of people on the fence and people that aren't really too nice that God asked me to take time, extra time with. But I'm pretty sure that that extra time is up and I'm not going to be offering my services in that area, if you know what I mean, <laughs> you know. So, only to the people that um, love God makes you worthy, you know. So they can say anything they want about people that are gathering with the true spirit of Jesus Christ, let them, <laughs> let them say anything they want to say. You know, it doesn't matter. They don't matter at this point. I'm not saying that we totally have to ignore anything that anybody says to us or is trying to do to us because there's a few of us out here that they actually want gone totally gone forever but being that our um is existence is forever that's impossible so just the sick fantasy they have so. even satan can't destroy god don't you think he would have by now every one of us would have been dead 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 if he had gotten in his way all along but here we are a strong ones so that ought to say something if somebody that was that powerful whatever and that smart couldn't totally take out the blood of christ within mankind and keep those submissive missive even with drugs and chemicals and our air and our water and everything that they've done to us all through the centuries and they still can't keep us down because we heal from the inside out with jesus christ so that should tell you strong ones a big thing just how strong you are with god in your heart like that so. yes it is a big deal I wonder if some of the same people that were coming after me, how many other people actually, is it one channel, two channels, or um, everybody that professes God? Like I said, all are firm that daily. I will tell you over and over that I love God. Christian isn't even the proper term for Jesus Christ. So what's a religion? just a man-made word for what people have in their hearts. whoop de doo I don't care. <laughs> but I do care about other religions. I do know the deceiving money-making schemes and uh, undertones of satanic conditioning behind all the religions. So, um, very well. And for anybody that doesn't know, I am a licensed, ordained minister. My ministerial license number is 278, registered in the Pine County, Minnesota Courthouse. So um, I'm not one to really be reading the Bible a gazillion times. I really honestly do know it inside and out i read it several times word for word in different languages so i can speak the proper words and let myself be um understood that's the biggest thing 
uh, I want to leave no doubt in anybody's mind about where my heart lies and what I'm all about. There's absolutely no question about what who I serve and why for everybody. So absolutely no doubt. And if somebody's got a problem with that over on my channel, <laughs> like I literally had people with the name Devil or Mickey of the Mouse, these type of people coming over here and saying, well, it's their job to um, make sure people that are on my channel that have the same love in life that we do for each other and our father, that he's going to tell us that it's a fake God, his opinion or her opinion, and make sure nobody will go in that direction. And, you know, it's like, you don't belong here. You know, go tell people that are atheists. Go tell people that are Satanists. Talk to the same mindset as you. If you don't think it's any big deal to... um use the guise of Christ like a dating service, like if you're literally on a Christian channel trying to connect with all the girls or all the boys or whatever, that's the wrong place to be doing that. Definitely isn't going to be my channel. Although a dating site on YouTube would be kind of cool for some people, you know? Maybe if you all are sing single out there, maybe you want to start up, hey, singles, let's chat. Do you have God in your heart? You know, see how many of them you pull in. Probably more, um, might be a lot of trash, <laughs> you know. Hey, this is a trash collecting channel. <laughs> hmm. Not mine. I meant like the dating site. <laughs> Could be. That could turn into one of them easily, I could see. You know. And then them little devils, they just like to write all that chaos crap on the people that do love God. Or put out their... See, here's a big one too. Let's throw out some scripture on somebody's channel. So you think I'm going to go read what you wrote and, and um, directed me? To a part of the Bible that you want my mind to go? Mm -mm. When I open my Bible, I open it for myself. I read for my own understanding. And then I talk with my understanding in life. I walk the walk and I talk the talk. I really detest liars in a big mass. A liar will do anything. Did you know that? If you consider that. Um, what won't they do? You know? If, um, say, for instance, somebody that you care about lies to you, really, what are they capable of after that? You know? We found out what the biggest liar in the world is capable of. The things nightmares are made out of, you know, and horror movies. That ring of more truth than any Christian really wants to bear. And these people play out there like there's nothing wrong in the world. Everything's going to go on all skippity do da day, you know. Every day, all day long, and nobody can do a thing about it. Well, yeah, we can. And yes, we are. When one strong person takes 20 weak ones and sets them aside by the trash bin, whether God wants to go or not, but at least we're getting them closer there. I mean, if we tried to pull them across the line 
and they were fighting and fighting and taking our strength. It's like, phooey, time to go put them over by the bin and let God deal with that. That's how I feel about the people that I blocked today. So, And if you come back with your fake names, I'm sure I'll know it's you. You know, you'll probably start out sweet or kind of half-ass stupid with um, half-ass stupid questions and things that God would tell you in your heart if you truly were of that. And ask me like you don't know. And I'll, I'll tell, I'll tell it like it is. What's really hard for me to bear out of any adult, I, I tolerated it out of a 15-year-old girl, um, my stepchild, um, but I set her straight. She said these words, I'm confused, so let me help unscrew that brain then if it's all messed up like that. Because I don't do confusion in my life at all. There's no um, in between the way I conduct myself and my core values, morals, integrity, the Ten Commandments, and the seven deadly sins. People ignore the seven deadly sins, and that's why they call them deadly. I couldn't stress it enough that you look up the seven deadly sins and consider that you're not infracting these on a da daily basis. They call them deadly. Deadly. Please look them up if you're not aware. Most people know the Ten Commandments, and most people do about Mm, eight tenths of it pretty good but you got to do the whole thing really well it's very important please listen to me I have um a video down below and it might be named uh, the seven deadly sins or seven deadly sins maybe not but um, perhaps I'll pull them out and reread them. It's probably one of the ones where you can actually see my Bible and the writing to make it easier, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's a couple different places, and I only found one that day when I did that. So, like I said, I'm not one to really pull out my Bible and, and instruct you in that way. I'm just here more like a cheerleader, if that makes sense to you, a very well-informed one for God against the opposition. I, I've been on the internet for a long, long time. Long time. So I was reading white papers in the government sites um, in 1995 and um, doing other things out here to the cabal. Satanists, Luciferians, whatever, Zionism, Zionist Jews, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> and the ones that are watching me that can totally take a hike. You're of no value to me. So if anybody is here to get my way, um, you might think you're having fun, but I'll guarantee you I'll have more fun than you will. Oh, that's what I was going to touch on, too. I was talking about, um, you know, how in a marriage one might may fail a little more than the other or whatever them type of things last night I was talking about in the night before, I think. Um, to touch a little more on that, anything that we have done in our past, don't ever let anybody, narcissistic, evil entity, spirit, person, anybody, throw that up in your face, anything on a daily basis or from one day to the next. Don't let it go by a week and then some evil person is going to say, yeah, but you swear, or, yeah, but 
you did this when you were younger or yeah no no if you have god in your heart you're covered you don't listen to nothing nothing you did in your past will stop god from loving you right now nothing so don't ever let anybody take one second from your heart and the love of that god has for you or you for him because um, Satan can't have that. It's impossible. So just keep that in mind when everybody, anybody said, well, you did this or you did that. Ignore it. It isn't worth your time to respond. Well, you can defend yourself. I mean, go ahead. Sure. I mean, I understand that. I will too. Yeah, I'll say something. I don't really let anything go. But from my mind to God's mind, nothing gets in there to tell me you're not good enough to be loved by God. You're not good enough to ask a favor. You're not good enough to have understanding or know that you're a forever being and that you are loved and the pleasures that you want and desire and things you will get as long as you do it with a clean heart. So don't ever let Satan get in there and say you're not worthy. Like I've said before, too, and Robin, Robin's hoods, hood brought this up. Um, uh, you know, like if you're drinking or, or, you know, that type of thing. I don't know his exact words, to just to paraphrase. Um, whatever you're doing in your life that you've done it's like um a heroin addict not being able to beg for god's help that's ridiculous they're on their deathbed you know of course that's when they mostly need him <laughs> you know so when you're struggling that's you know you that's when you call on him you never have any shame on asking your parent for help not your forefather, not the one that put you here out of love. So you think to yourself, well, a lot of us, and I've gone through this, I didn't ask to be born. In a manner of speaking, I'm asking to be born again. I want to live by my father's house, maybe not necessarily in it, but darn close, you know. I don't feel like I have to sit on his lap because I'm his kid. I'm not one of them, well, I'm going to my father's house. Hey, he has his own house. I want my own house, you know. Um, I just want to be worthy of that. You know, I want to be worthy to walk up to that house with no shame. So don't let Satan set you back at any time or tell you that you can't do that because you can always move on. It's the evil spirits that can't, that want to keep you down. You'll never be kept down. None of God's kids will ever be kept down. So, um, yeah, I just thought that was important to say um, any failings we had in the past are in the past in God's eyes. And Christ died for us to have that right. So he could clean up this blood and straighten things on this earth. And it is time. I'm sure a lot of you feel like that. You look around and you think this is a crazy world. Or that song, Mad World. Yes, it's a mad, mad world. I mean, people get angry. Dogs get mad. So when you have somebody that's um, pretending to be Christ or pretending to be a preacher... And they're literally screaming at you. And they think they're a teacher. Psh. Yeah, I've talked to. I was a student teacher and a paraprofessional at a sheriff's boys ranch and a counselor, TMA, and a nurse. And I worked for the Head Start through um, the Red Cross organization. So, um and a bit more in my 60 years. So, yeah. Um, let's 
let's just say I know what I'm talking about. I definitely know the difference between good and evil. And they say that if possible, um, people will be deceived. Well, that's not happening here. I'm stubborn for God. I'm so stubborn for God that Satan hates me for it. But he doesn't want the females dead. He wants the men dead. He wants you men to die. He wants your filthy, vile language. That's what he wants out of you. He wants you leading women wrong. So we all fail in God's eyes, which that'll never happen. So, well, I'm going to let you go. I love you all, and I might be back. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Thank you for joining me.